First, uh, we'll go through what's actually in the kit here. So we got a variety of wedges here. We got some matrix bands, and then we have these real matrix bands here, as well as the actual tool to use those. That's what comes in this kit. These matrix bands are a different material than the typical dead soft material. You can see they have a lot of memory to them. They're much more rigid and firm, and that's gonna help us out with these subgingival restorations where we wanna elevate the margin a little bit. So we'll go through pros and cons and when one might be better than the other. For these restorations, we have something much deeper than your standard class two restoration. We got something that's going either at the gum tissue or beneath the, the gum tissue. So you can see here that prep goes all the way down beneath the gums. This one, the reason it doesn't go beneath the gums is because I've already removed some of that gum tissue. Step one, really for me, is to pre-wedge. And pre-wedging is gonna go a long way in determining what needs to happen for this restoration to be successful. If this was on a tooth that I had not prepped yet, have not removed the decay, I'm going to put a wedge in and then I'm going to do my preparation. It's gonna tell me how deep I can prep this tooth without the wedge getting in the way of my restoration. What we want to happen is we want the wedge to be pushing our matrix band up against the margin of the tooth so that we get a seal of the matrix band up against the tooth. The whole challenge, the whole thing that we're making sure we are achieving here is isolation and good contour. And everybody knows, you know, we should use a rubber dam to keep that sealed and, and that should help with our isolation. But to be on the safe side, we also want to make sure that our matrix bands that we're using are putting pressure up against the tooth to create a seal as well. You can see in this situation that prep is sitting below where that wedge seats. So that means that the wedge would be putting pressure on your matrix band up against the empty space of your preparation, not up against the tooth. So see those little fins that stick out? We want those engaging the side of the tooth, not into your preparation. If you try to restore it like that, that's going to distort your matrix band. That's going to not seal the matrix band up against the margin. And you could potentially be leaving yourself open to overhangs and poorly contoured restorations and different things. By placing a, a wedge in there beforehand, and I'm not only compressing that gum tissue to get my wedge as low as possible, but I'm also giving myself an idea of when this deep margin elevation might be necessary. So I have two options at this point. Option number one is I can remove some gum tissue to make some space to get my wedge in there deeper. And now you can see this wedge is a little too small for this situation. Now those fins are engaging into my preparation. And when I put a matrix band in there, that wedge is gonna be able to push the matrix band up against the tooth. The other option is to use a different type of matrix band that's going to seal. And that's really where the difference between using a sectional matrix band like this and using a constrictive matrix band like this is going to come into play. If I can get a wedge in, I prefer to use a sectional matrix band. If I can't get a wedge in because either I don't want to remove gum tissue or because I removed gum tissue but still am having trouble with the distance from the bone to the prep, in those situations when it's not possible to get a wedge in the right location, this is my go-to matrix band. So what I'll do is I'll put pressure to hold that in place right here and then I will clamp that down and then I'm gonna start to tighten this up and I'm gonna release that. So now that's nice and snug. Sometimes as we know it, when we're practicing in the real world is this mesial surface of this tooth does not look nice and rounded. It's very common to have this mesial surface or even the distal surface have the concavity in this area where it dips in sometimes quite a bit. Even if you tighten this down all the way, you might have a little gap here. If we run into a situation where we still need a little extra support to get that matrix band pushed up against that tooth, there's a couple options. One is Teflon. We also have super floss. So you could take some super floss like this, nice and puffy, and we can get that down and just gently tuck that in to give us some extra pressure in that area. Now let's say hypothetically that's that's not working because there's not enough pressure from that super floss. There's still a little bit of an indentation there. What we can do is take a little bit of Teflon. It doesn't take much and we can work that Teflon down where it needs to be. We're not worried about our interproximal contact or anything like that. This is to help shape the emergence profile 
of the tooth in the subgingival area. So we can pack that in there, making sure that this seal is what we have. That's the, the, our number one goal there. One of the things that I always do, I always recommend to do, is to take an explorer or just you know use your magnification and look and make sure you didn't trap any little bit of gum tissue between the matrix band and the tooth. The goal here is to build up this restoration right about to that point before we can start bringing it out to shape our, our interproximal contour. With this, these stiffer matrix bands, it's quite a bit different from the dead soft material. You know, it's very common on deeper preparations to be putting our matrix band in and the band is getting held up by the prep. The thing I like about these is you could push them as hard as you want, they're not gonna distort. The other thing that's nice about them is your wedge is not going to distort these matrix bands. You guys have seen those restorations that you can pretty much pick out exactly where the wedge is, the little triangular wedges in the emergence profile of the tooth. We don't want that. And once that's completed, now I have room to get my wedge in there. And again, I wanna engage those little fins. I want to engage the side of the tooth. So I'm making sure that wedge goes into the right area. And now you can see we have our wedge pushing our matrix band up against the tooth. Even though this kit is for deep margin elevation, and you can definitely use this for deep margin elevation, you can also use it in just deeper class twos where you can accomplish more challenging preparations or restorations because these materials are allowing you to do that. You can place your ring on at this point. Just another thought of sometimes I do go to the real matrix system if I have a more complicated outline of my gingival floor.